What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I have a guest on the channel today. This is my buddy, Willie T. And uh, Willie's got a cool guitar that he let me make a demo of, and so we're going to check it out. Um, yep. What you got, Willie? What is this? So I have a 2022 Donable DE Series R2 in Silverburst. It's a really neat guitar. It's obviously inspired by the Gibson RD. Yeah. One of my favorite guitars to ever exist because it's very Explorer-esque. The thing I like about the RD shape over like a traditional like Explorer like that right there is like it's a little more compact. It doesn't yep. like the the t the points don't jut out quite as far. Yep. Like it doesn't feel quite it doesn't feel as awkward as an Explorer does. Like yep. I I really do not like this guitar behind me. Uh, I'm just not a fan. It's not my thing. So uh, that's why I haven't done a demo or like review of this yet. It's just like I got it with every intention to, and then I was like I just. Spoiler alert, I don't like it. So I there's I just don't even think I'm gonna make a video about it. Yes. Yeah. It's not my thing. But I like I like these a lot better though. Oh yeah, these um, are phenomenal. So let's talk about some specs here. Um So uh, a traditional Gibson R D would be twenty four and three quarter. This is not, right? This is twenty five right. and a half inch scale. Right. So now, it does have a little longer scale length. Yes. More yes. more it's like a fender scale it, length. It's more in the vein of the original Vintage RDs. Uh, that's right. They're from the seventies. The vintage and the RDs are twenty five point yes. five scale. Yes, I did. I forgot are. that. Yes, okay. they absolutely are. Wow, look at that. Yes. Um, and uh, so it's twenty five and a half inch scale. So let, let me point something out. Yeah. Here we're gonna get. If I don't know if you ever played a guitar like this, Explorers are kind of the same way. Actually, SGs are kind of the same way too. And this is why I didn't. I used to have an SG, and this is why I didn't gel with the SG a whole lot. If you look at a guitar like this, the See how the neck sets into the body, how it's real, like, the last fret's here. You have, like, no problem getting all the way up to this high fret, which, that's cool. But the thing I'm not a fan of is how they achieve that is, like, the whole guitar is, like, moved to the left, sort of. It's so, like, when you're playing on Les Paul, the, the bridge feels like it's more, like, back here. And the neck is, like, set more into the body. And I guess I'm just so used to that. So when I play, like, an SG or an RD shape guitar the the whole guitar feels like when i'm wearing it it feels like it's like out here kind of and i'm like it, it feels weird to me like the so almost like a bass would where like the neck is like way down here yeah. and the bridge is like moved up this way so the guitar has this very weird phenomenon to me of like feeling small at the same time it's like super large yeah and it, it, it's real weird i it, yeah, I haven't been able to really get used to it yet, but yeah, uh, it is nonetheless a super cool guitar, though. I love the Silver Burst. Um, I love the knobs, too. Yes. The old, like, reflector, yeah. kind of, like, mismatched silver and chrome knobs, like, are super sweet. Um, yes. So you've got a push-pull right yes. on the tone knob. We literally yes. just figured... He, how long have you had this guitar? Uh, for a few weeks. <laughs> and we yeah. just figured out how to push-pull yeah. on it. Um, so, tell me what kind of pickups are in it. What's so, going on there? It's got the Donable Cthulhu pickups. Mm -hmm. When you order or buy any Donable, they typically come with their in house pickups, which are phenomenal. Yeah. I've listened to all of the demos of all of them. But the Cthulhus are very basic pickups. There's not like They're nothing really quote unquote special. They're, they're kind of like a jack of all jack of all trades pickup. Yeah. They just they're like a kind of yeah. a little hotter PAF type of deal. They don't uh they're not super K but I mean that's kind of what you do when you're a guitar manufacturer, right? Like yep. if you, you don't want like a super specific pickup that only does one thing. Like you want it to appeal to like a broader yep. demographic. Especially people, when so, yeah. you're doing uh like a mass production like the D E series. So yeah, talk about the D E because I think a lot of people are gonna think Dunable, like handmade US, US guitar uh, uh, guitars, yeah. but they do make an overseas line. That's what this is. The DE yep. is the the. I think they're. I think it's Korean. I might be wrong, but the pots in the guitar say "Made in Korea" on them. So I think yep. I think it's Korean. Um, but if you've ever played any Korean guitars, like the PRS SEs, uh, they're awesome. And this guitar is awesome. This guitar plays really good. Um, and it's it's a really like high end Korean guitar yeah it, it doesn't feel like 
a cheapo, you know, like four hundred dollar import guitar, and they're not either. I mean, the, what was listed on this like? Uh, twelve fifty. Twelve twelve fifty. Yeah. So it you know it, it's on the higher end of like a Korean or or whatnot import guitar. So, um, yeah, man. Um, let's see. Let's run through some other things here. So. Yep. This guitar is totally stock. All I've done to it for him is I did a little setup on it, and um, I am gonna I am gonna call him out a little bit. There was a little crack in the fingerboard down here that I repaired and fixed. So a, a small little QC issue. Yeah. Uh, it didn't really affect playability or anything like that, but you know it's just one of those things. It just had a tiny little bit crack around like the twenty first fret. And I filled it in with some uh, some black super glue and sanded it out and got it looking nice there. So. There was that. Um, the frets. Are the frets nickel frets? It's not sta They're not stainless steel, yes, are they? Yes, they're okay. nickel frets. Nickel frets. I don't, so, some guitars thing. in this price range, like some LTDs and stuff, have yep. stainless steel. So I didn't know about these. Um, yep. I really like the tuning keys. Yep, it's got, got like the vintage these, style tuning keys. Yeah, these open gear really tuners. Nice they're uh, they're real smooth. Yeah, Very like the, smooth. yeah. They, they're not. There's no play in them either. Like I like that. Comes with a Graph Tech. I don't know if you can see that, the Graftech Tusk Nut on it, which at this point in time is like, I use that on everything, man. When I'm, If I'm replacing it, I don't, I don't bother, like, I'm like blocking my face with a guitar. I, I don't even bother with like bone nuts anymore. There's just no point. I just buy like a pre-made Graftech Tusk. I like fit it to size, slap it on there, and it's, they're great. Um, oh, yeah. You just got like a standard tunematic style, kind of, you know, import tunematic tail piece, which I... I'm fine with. I, I like these kind of tail pieces. They're my favorite. Um, standard three-way switch. Yep. All the way Set, at the back. Super out of the way. Set the cool tap there. Yeah, I do like that. I like, uh, the, like I was saying, how these guitars feel small to me, like up here. So I don't like a whole lot of stuff like crammed into the front of it. So having the controls down here is, is pretty nice, kind of out of the way. Don't, if you play the kind of music we play, you don't have to worry about it. And, you know, it's, it's out of the way. You're not going to accidentally hit it or something like that. And you do the infamous stuff <laughs> the, that I do. The guitar throw, yeah. <laughs> um, this has got a cool neck joint on it, too. It's set neck. And mm -hmm. I'm digging this neck joint. Um, it just looks neat. It's not what I was expecting when the when he brought the guitar over. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that guy. Yep. Um, it comes with a... Uh, Donable branded gig bag. So this isn't a sponsored video either. Uh, my channel is not that big <laughs> to have sponsors. Uh, this is just his guitar that he bought uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was like, "Yo, bro, that guitar is sweet. You gotta bring it over and let's do a video on it." And he was like, "Yeah." So um, yeah, that is the Donable R2, and I'll do a shame. Uh, we'll, we'll let Willie T do a shameless plug here. We um, did demo track, so demo track will be here. Um, it was this guitar through the Will Putney STL Tones plug-in uh, using the 5150. That's it. Pretty raw. Not a lot of processing going on. Uh, just kind of this guitar plug-in so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, Willie T's a fan, and they're yes. really good. And that's why he got this, because his band is getting ready to go on tour next year. And uh, they're going to do some cool stuff. So why don't you, you know... Give a little spot to your band here. Yeah. So socials, music, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I joined Stay Lost recently. Um, we can be found on on like all of the social medias on all of the streaming services. Uh, the Instagram handle is Stay Lost AL. Um, you can find me on all of the socials, Uncle X Willie T on all of them. I've got the uh, the link trees and stuff like that. In my bio is on all of my socials. And, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of exciting stuff in the Stay Lost camp that I think everybody's pretty stoked on. Yeah, and it's it, going to be really good for, like, the Alabama scene. Man. Yes. You guys are doing some cool stuff. So yes. check out Stay Lost. Uh, follow Willie on Instagram, all that stuff. Um, subscribe to my channel, you know, YouTube stuff. Hit the like button. Get in the comments and argue about something uh, so the algorithm throws the video out to everybody. Uh Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, all that. So uh, we'll be back next week, and hope you like the demo.